So last night I was thinking, how many superheroes need a good game? I mean, look at the Batman Arkham series and hell, the Injustice series and all the good Spider-Man games out there. But then you get shitty tie-in movie games that are, not all of them are complete shit, but it's hard to compete with the Wolverine Origins. I mean, come on, that game was fucking epic. I mean, it had everything Wolverine needed. Blood, decapitation, but what else? And the Incredible Hulk of the world. Yeah, yeah, the second game was fucking epic too. I mean, come on, you were throwing cards and shit. But I digress. Anyway, we need some good games from some fresh superheroes, something we've never seen before. And everything I'm suggesting will be what heroes need and who needs a new game. Now, no, just because they have a game out there doesn't mean they're not contenders for the group. They need to have at least one good game, or at least two good games, to be on this list. I mean, not to be on this list. So, sorry, Spider Man, you can't be on the list. You got two good games. You got a couple good games, actually. But yeah, here's my top 10 superheroes that need a good video game series. At number 10, we have the Winter Soldier. Okay, so he technically isn't a hero, but we need a third-person shooter game dedicated to this man. Kind of a Metal Gear Solid type of stealth game, because, you know, he worked for Hydra as a sleeper agent. Sleeper agents couldn't really be identified. Kind of combine that with the aspect of Hitman, and you have a pretty good game. Now, we know Bucky worked for Hydra, as I said before. So let me play that shit out, dude. Like, let me play at the Hydra Winter Soldier, but then, like, midway through the game, he gets his memory back, and then you go and be killing niggas from Hydra. Like, it's gonna make so much sense. Then get, then guess what? It's all gonna make sense. And the death kills with the sniper rifle, with his metal arm, and, oh my god, please do not be scared of that M rating. Make this game a bloody violent mess. Do not make this connect to the MCU at all. Do this the comic book way. And he's an M rated character, so come on, give him that. Give him that. Give give our boy Bookie that at least. At number nine, Blade. Another M rated character and for some reason I can see a ninja Gaiden type of game with him. Like all you can see you hacking your way through dozens of vampire hordes, doing it in the most graphical of ways. Like Blade is not a PG-13 character, he is violent, he's not a rated T character, he is a rated M character, cause you just imagine like, stabbing a vampire in the head and just like, slashing through his friends and then shooting them, just like, brutally massacring them, and I can see this game already, just take, take the combat system from Ninja Gaiden 2, the, the one for Xbox 360, and the one where you can like, switch weapons midway through, and dear god, just make this game brutal and rated M. Again, he's an M rated character. Do this. These M rated characters need a good game. And like, Blade hasn't had the best game since that PlayStation 2 game, which we don't we don't want to ever remember. Like, I'd rather be in a coma than play that shit ever again, dear God. But it was still, like, we just need an M rated Blade game that has the aspect of Ninja Gaiden. And it would be so amazing. And if you release it at the right time, Blade can get his popularity and we can get an MCU Netflix series from Blade. I mean, come on, we're already confirmed that vampires exist in this world, so yeah. Number 8 is Nightwing. Okay, you see Nightwing done right in the Arkham City DLC. By the way, amazing DLC, go out and buy that shit. I don't know how much it costs, but it's pretty cheap. Now, if you still got your PS3, duck that shit off and go get Arkham City. But he could be a little bit more of a light-hearted choice in consider the previous entries, but it would be somehow dark. It'd still be dark. It would still have that Batman-esque kind of Arkham-esque feeling, but it would be Nightwing, and it would be done so cool. Like, could you imagine, like, it's, hmm, if I could think of something, you're literally in this open world, like, Arkham Knight, kind of, but you're, like, jumping from building to building, taking out criminal gangs and all this, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't read a Nightwing comic since his first issue of New 52, so I couldn't really come up with a full-out story if I was, heck, I don't think I came up with a full-out story for any of these things I put in the middle of this list. But I honestly think that this could work. Like, really, a Nightwing game, really cool, and it's really a way to get the character more introduced. Uh, explain his history, show us his gadgets, show us what he does. And it's really something cool I really want to see. So, yeah, that's number eight, I believe. Yeah, number eight. At number seven, we have Green Lantern. Okay, they already have one, but that game as well. It's bad, but this game could be done like a family-friendly Bayonetta. 
because let's face it, she summoned things like her boots, her monsters, all that really cool demonic shit and all that. But imagine that with using the Green Lantern powering, like, but you gotta have Kyle Rayner. And let me explain why. With Hal Jordan, you get kind of a boring selection of weapons to use. You get the standard boxing glove, machine gun, all this stuff. But Kyle Rayner, he's an artist, so he can create object that we've never seen before like a giant mech he's done it already you he can create like a giant paintbrush or like a whoopee cushion or just really fun and enthusiastic weapon and again it could be a bayonetta-esque game the reason i say that because bayonetta she fights you with multiple objects she summons from the end of the world which could be random things which imagine that but with freaking that and you fight other you got to fight other things you can fight the nectar core or the red lantern Oh my god, this could be one of the best Green Lantern names ever if they do it right. And it would be extremely fun and lighthearted and just take place in space. And you fly around and you're just a galactic cop. It would be, oh my, oh my lord, that game would be lit. It would be lit if they did that, exactly. At number six, we have Iron Fist. Okay, quick question. How many people play God Hand? Or really nobody? No one really. It's, it was made by Cap. It was an awesome game. Just imagine that. That basically what is what this game would be. God Fist was pretty much a hand-to-hand -hand combat game where you fought multiple different enemies in this thing, and it was a really fun game. Now I could see this really working out for Iron Fist for one reason. That game it was really focused on combat, like on hand-to-hand -hand combat. And what I feel like is they could do this game and combine God Hand. And Iron Fist together would be so fucking awesome. Cause like every time you would defeat an enemy in God Hand, you would level up. And I could see you doing that in this game, just leveling up every time you fight an enemy and you win. And it would be so cool. And you get to tap into his power with the dragon. And then like, oh my god, when you get to like, I don't know, level 100, you're able to do all these abilities. But if you get beat up too bad, you lose a level. So that even makes the game even more difficult. It looks be amazing for an Iron Fist or a superhero game in general. Because there's never been a part where you felt vulnerable. And you would feel like, kind of like, okay, I lost the level. Let me level back up. And it would be so cool. Also, please don't make it a mobile game, Marvel. Just, just stop with the mobile. No, nobody's getting that. I stopped playing mobile games if you made Avengers Academy. I don't, I don't want to remember that shit. This, no, please, no. Number five, Aquaman. Okay, so Arthur Curry hasn't had the best history of game. <coughs> Battle for Atlanta. <coughs> oh, God. That, 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 uh, that was a bad cough, you know? Just like Battle for Atlanta was a bad game. But they could make an impressive experience. Hell, I would take... You don't need a full-out combat game. You can just do a Telltale game. Or, like, the new Batman game. Or something. Just don't do this game bad. Give this character some justice. Like, there's so much you can do with it. Because it's under... You can choose to be in Atlantis or on the surface and it's really hard though coming up with an idea which is why I understand why they can't really do it as much because it's really hard coming up with a really cool idea with this character because A he's super powerful B it takes place underwater and most games have horrible underwater combat I'm not even gonna lie to you that seems like to be a medium that you could never do right and Again, it's really hard to do the Atlantis in the surface thing, because, like, what the surface have better combat than the Atlantis stuff, and you're gonna need to fight in Atlantis, like, Jesus Christ, the combat for a lot of awful, like, underwater level games, like, up top of my head, Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts was bad, and I don't want them to go that route, and I don't want them to do Battle for Atlantis again, but just give him a good game, like, honestly, you could do a Telltale game, because a lot of Aquaman stories are story driven like they're very heavy on text and they deal with him just trying to balance out being a surface dweller but also being a diplomat for the Atlantis and it's really cool how they do it in the comics so I don't know find a really good story and you can do a telltale series in my opinion at number four the flash and there's no goddamn reason we shouldn't have a good flash game see the flash has increased in popularity due to his CW TV show so why not give him a triple A fast paced game now his speed could be done like in the Sonic game good ones good ones like Generations or Unleashed now might mind the warehouse shit fuck that in Sonic I mean, that, that, that just migrate but whereas he runs the speed space around him just changes you start to see like it zoom in only to him and you only see the lightning behind him like just increasing speed in the combat to do it like fast like after you defeat one enemy you 
quickly change parts to the next enemy. You quickly take out this enemy, go to that enemy, go to that enemy. And it's basically just keeping it fast paced and being able to do all sorts of really cool things. I can't really see any other game that had extremely super fast combat like that. But like try, I don't know, I can think of something like Devil May Cry? Where it's like you're con like you're just fighting and like as you fight, it just keeps like your main objective is to stay as fast as possible. But you would have like after you're done with this, you would be required to slow down. And I know what you're saying, well, a flash never slows down. Yeah, but he never gets tired as easy. But I want it to be, you have like a stamina boost. And the stamina boost is like when you overexert the speed for it, your body eventually just wears out. And the thing is, you can do the new 52 storyline, and you can do the rebirth storyline with Godspeed. Oh my god, Godspeed would be a fucking amazing ass boss in a fighting game. Like that, not in a fighting game, but like in a black game in general. I'm not editing that out, but overall, it just, it would be so epic. Yeah, but Warner Brothers, you gotta make this shit happen. I mean, that is so much, you have such a huge market of Flash fans now because of your CW series, that this would make bank, my nigga. I'm not even gonna lie, you make bank, like, Throwing money out of the fucking oh my god, throwing money at that screen. That's all I really gotta say on that. Like that that would be fucking epic. At number three we have Supergirl slash Superman game. Okay, it should be obvious that I'm a huge Supergirl fanboy. Her cousin I could care less about. I, I'm not really a big Superman fan, but you gotta remember, Superman has not had the best how do I put it, history of games for when you have Superman 64, which we shall never ever speak of. One of the worst Nintendo 64 games. And don't get me started on a glitch fest known as Superman Returns. That guy, oh dear god, that game. So maybe you should let Kara take over the mantle. I mean, come on. Though, I understand why they can't make a good Superman game. It's because, it, again, it's like with the Aquaman situation. He's overly powerful, and it's like, it's really hard to do that. He's an insanely powerful character, and yeah, you have villains that can match up with him, but eventually the fight is going to get tedious and boring. I mean, you saw that when you had to fight a fucking tornado in Superman Returns. Okay, okay, I'm going to leave that game alone. But, I mean, again, it doesn't have to be a complete, like, whole action adventure game. It could be a Telltale game, or, yeah, no, it, it could be an action adventure game, just done right. <sighs> Like, just an action-adventure open-world game done extremely well. That's all I really want to see. But all I, my only request is, <clears throat> it cannot have flying rings. Like, no flying through rings. If you have flying through rings, I, I, I'm going to sue your ass, DC. Like, it makes no sense. Did you learn the first time? Number two, we have Justice League. Okay, this is kind of a cop out, but can we get a Justice League game now? Before I get this, but Phantom, they're really Justice League game for PS2. That shit's older than me, so let's get a new game. One with a better upscale graphic, an RPG sort of like Final Fantasy 15 type of gameplay, combined with Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Just a big spectacular RPG game that involves superheroes, and I would love every second of it. Imagine you fight Doomsday, Dark Side. Oh, yeah, Dark Side. You also fight against the Brainiac, you fight up against all of these people, you just, oh my god, and you would take, like, oh my god, you could easily, like, smitch and max people from different, um, fucking universes, not even universes, but, like, fucking Justice League iterations, get fucking Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, Cyborg, everyone, like, just, oh my god, this game would be so fucking lit, it would be so fucking lit, and I would throw money literally at DC, like, Warner Brothers, I would make it wane on you, I would make it wane, yeah, Bruce Wayne, I'd, li I'd make it Bruce Wayne on you, I swear, but yeah, that, let's get that going, <laughs> and at number one, we got the Avengers, okay, again, I want a huge AAA game, like, for the Avengers, a sort of RPG game, just like the Justice League one suggested, Final Fantasy 15 Combat, Level 1 System of Marvel's Middle Line, graphics of in any superhero game that looks decent at least, I'm, I'm not asking for too much, and I do not want to connect it to the MCU, and I want it to have a comic book storyline, and yet I can finally think of a storyline for in the Infinity Wars or Infinity Gauntlet, and oh my god, to do that story arc, and you would have be making bait like you have to do the original secret wars you can do the infinity gauntlet you can do all of these infinity wars the gems oh my god and you would be making bank i swear to you like the avengers are huge now like again the x-men are pretty much bigger but 
the Avengers are fucking huge now. Like they are one of the they made one of the highest grossing superhero movie budget ever. And that's just saying something. So you guys need to give this need to make this movie happen. But yeah, that, that that's pretty much it for number one. And that is my list. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And give me some ideas of your most wanted superhero game. Give me the mechanics, the graphics. How good would you get to um, make the game? Give me the studio. Give me everything that you would do. If you had full range of making it your favorite superhero into a game. And don't be afraid. Like I, I'll comment back. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.